All right, welcome back to our Guild Wars 1 playthrough in Prophecies. And you might be noticing right away that I have some heroes. This, uh, if, you're, if you're following along with my Prophecies playlist, uh, that's because it's a little bit out of order time-wise. I have already completed a portion of Nightfall. I gained some heroes, so I decided to come back to my Prophecies playlist and give... The Sorrows Furnace another shot. I had a devastating failure the last time I was here. I'm looking to get some revenge on these uh, Stone Summit. I'm going to go with the three heroes because that was the limitation back in the day when heroes were first introduced. And I'm, I'm going to bring out the rest in Henchmen. This should allow me some micromanagement in some of the areas where I needed to like uh, defend the NPC while also moving on to some other areas. Uh, so let's give it a shot. I think it should go a little bit more in our favor. Even though I think, honestly, the henchmen here are pretty powerful, uh, I think my henchmen should be pretty okay. Like, I got a minion master now. Uh, boss is using some factions abilities. I'm using some PvE skills now. So it should be pretty powerful. Um, a combination of builds here. I'm just kind of spamming through here. I'm not even sure of the synergy between Cry of Pain, Necrosis, and Corruption, but it altogether this build does quite a lot of damage. I don't have that many conditions. Um because I'm I'm kind of I'm kind of at a what's the word? I'm at the, I'm at the, uh, limited by the amount of conditions that my party has, I guess. But my, my, uh, as far as my build, I can, I can put on about, like, three or four conditions, I think. We got, uh, Daze, we got Deep Wound. Okay, I got two conditions. Elias has one, he's got Weakness. Hoss has Bleeding, so that's one. And then um, Sin and Aiden both have Burning. So I've got quite a few. I'm missing some Poison. That's what I'm missing, honestly. Oh, yeah. Elias doesn't have any Poison. Oh. I think we're going to get some decent Fragility Spikes here. Who do I need to talk to again? Increase Alcar, that's what I'm looking for. This was the this was a, a horrible failure. Honestly, it was a pretty good attempt last time I was here. So if you did catch that, if you did catch that uh, episode, this should be pretty satisfying if I can make if I can pull out a a win here. Okay, cost is doing cost things right now. He's running out away from his party. He's pretty strong. He can handle it. He's doing a lot of running and not really a lot of effective fighting. Okay, he got one hit off. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't have brought cost. Maybe it would have been better to bring a uh, another elementalist or something. Now that I'm thinking about it, that probably would have been a good idea. But he's our only front line. Oh, we'll see. We will see. Okay, Alcar. This mission is a little bit difficult because it requires defending him while simultaneously going off and collecting some items. But the 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 comments that I got after my last failure were very helpful, and I'm gonna put some of those uh, strategies strategies to the test. Uh, you'll kind of see what what I'll mention what they told me I should do while I'm doing it, so that keep track of it but yeah I got some really good advice and comments for it do I think this is possible with only henchmen uh yeah I think so especially if you have like a really strong solo solo build like survivable build by yourself but you're gonna see some things that I attempt based on what the comments told me that should make this a lot easier just like with the with the order of doing things, I was really I was really going into it. Um, 
like not knowing anything. So this being my second attempt is gonna give me a big advantage anyway. Honestly, I'm having some. I just realized Signet of Corruption is gonna be my energy boost. I don't really need to have both of these here. I should have replaced energy tap with like a mantra of frost or something. It would have been better. Okay, take out the master. He's getting rid of all their hexes. Ooh, there's a big group of people here. I just noticed. Okay, watch this. Watch this damage. Boom. And not great. But... There we go. That's the damage I'm looking for. Really losing a lot of energy. Because they also have some, some minion masters. Elias is not doing a great job at summoning minions fast enough. Elias is running a nice Discord build, which was a staple back in the day whenever you could only use three heroes. The, the Discord way. Originally using three Necromancers, I've only got one so far. But even with just the one, like, he's got minions, he's got some good damage. He inflicts some conditions. This would be incredible. This Yak Slapper is one of the best green items for a monk. It would be incredible if we get a drop here. With eight party members, I don't think it's going to happen, but you never know. Yeah. <laughs> I remember, I remember that was one of the first green drops I ever got. It was so awesome. You know, monks don't get a lot of great items, but that item is fantastic for a monk. I'd love to put it on uh, Top Korra or Gunkoro. But so far, this is pretty easy. Honestly, I had a pretty easy time um, at the beginning of last my last attempt as well. We haven't even gotten to the hard part yet, but we're I'm I'm liking the uh, flow of this build so far. Last also last time I did this, I was running illusionary weaponry. This is a little bit more of a try hard build, I would say. Very try hard build. I got some condition. I got some caster shutdown. I got some melee shutdown. I got a lot of damage. This is a very powerful build, I found out. Probably could have gone virulence. That might have been that might have given me more spiking power with more conditions. Um Yeah, I probably should have done that actually. Alright, let's do this. He's looking for a book, and this is the first mention of the Great Destroyer, which comes up later in the Eye of the Arms. But look, he's already running ahead. He does not follow you. So it's... you gotta stay ahead of him. Very annoying, honestly. The... the arena net, they knew what they, what they were doing with this... with this Alcar. some stuff while I can. I'm planning on getting a lot of items here, so. Go ahead and make some room real quick. Put that on Talcora. Nice. Okay. Yeah, good thing. Yeah, he just runs straight ahead. I think this is the way to go. Yeah. Again, the first part of this mission is pretty fast. After I complete this successfully, it still might be worth another run of going all henchmen just to kind of see if I can do it. Because I, I do think it's possible. 
I'm just looking for some revenge right now. There we go. Those are the numbers I'm looking for. Heck yeah. You need to put a nice clumsiness on that guy, but he, he falls pretty fast. And I'm seeing some conditions go up. Hoss is putting uh, bleeding up pretty consistently. Nice, like, 150 damage spike with this build. I guess this is good energy management, but it depend it, it requires many enemies that are um, affected by either a hex or condition. So if there's only one enemy that I cast this on, I only gain two energy. So I guess it is good that I have both of these because sometimes this is not, or this is not, uh, Signet of Corruption is not totally reliable as far as energy management goes. I do like that it is a signet. It would be nice to use with the um, Keystone build, actually. That's something to think about. Since I'm in Nightfall, there's some more signets I can get. Um, yeah, it might be nice to revisit that Keystone build. You really can't wait till I get a Mesmer hero. There's one Mesmer hero coming up in Nightfall. But yeah, if you're watching this video, you're probably on the Prophecies playthrough that I've done. Um, if you're following my Nightfall playthrough, then this, this video should automatically get recommended to you. But it's a bit of a time travel, because we were just in the middle of Nightfall. Um, if you're a little bit upset that I'm interrupting my Nightfall playthrough, uh, don't be upset. <laughs> Don't be upset, please. Uh, but I will be going back to Nightfall after this. I think kind of like sporadically, intermittently, I will be making trips back to Soros Furnace. I don't expect to do Soros Furnace in one playthrough or one consecutive series. Uh, just because I want to vary it up a little bit, I think. And then they're 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 gonna end up being together anyway because this video is gonna go on my prophecies playlist. So you'd rather just wait until all of the forest furnace are complete. You can just wait until I get them all done, and then come back to this playlist. Anyway, I'm done ranting about that. Yeah, this is actually much. I'm I'm having a much easier time. Just with Olias, I think. Having these bone horrors, level 14 bone horrors. He doesn't even have a rune. Really, ideally, I would have given him like a superior rune of death magic. And these bone horrors would be level 17, I believe. 14, 15, 16. Yeah, I think they'd be level 17 if I gave him a rune of superior. Um, rune of superior death magic. Uh, but actually, I haven't, I haven't ruined out any of my heroes. Actually, that's something I'm not entirely sure about. Heroes compared to henchmen. Like, I know henchmen at this stage automatically have infused armor. But how does, how do their runes work out? Like, does anyone know what their attributes are set as? Like, do they account for having runes equipped or are they just at that disadvantage but anyway so far it's much easier with heroes already and i haven't done any kind of macro managing at all this is one of, okay so this is one of the tips that people in the comments left me um i'm supposed to pick up that book actually is he already fighting someone Oh my gosh, he already stays there. Oh, uh, I might have already failed this. I thought he comes with you. Oh yeah, I think I already failed this. Let's see. Oh, tell me me. 
the clumsiness on him. Go, 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 go. Okay. I didn't fail. I was close. So he stays here no matter what. All right. So one of the comments, one of the comments told me that before, before getting the book, I should clear all of the areas because it was, he was under the impression. I guess he was under the impression that Alcar just stays here or, or he comes with me. Um, but no, it looks like he just stays here no matter what. Good thing I noticed that he was on, not with me currently. Oh, right, so that's one of the advice that I was given that is debunked. Um, okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave my heroes here, which costs Elias Talcora. Between the three of them, or plus Alcar, they should be okay with um, handling themselves. The other option I could do is I could leave my henchmen here and take my heroes with me. Uh, that would require a little bit more of... Um, micromanagement because I'd have to continuously flag my heroes to keep up with me. We're going to try it this way. I think with the five of us, we should be able to handle these guys. I'm hoping. Um, we're going to take, well, I'm, I'm going to have to take it a lot slower now. For sure. Yeah, so if I'm if I'm not talking so much, it's because I'm kind of concentrating a little bit, but I'll try and keep talking. So that blast rock, these blast rocks, I gotta kill. And I think they drop some items that I need to bring back to him. Yeah. But before, yeah, I'm I'm gonna go ahead and follow what the comment said. Is before before taking him to Tome, I am gonna clear out all of these guys. This Balthazate crystals, that's what I need to take to him. And I think, even though it hasn't told me, I think I need four of those. I'm gonna go ahead and fight and clear out these guys. Do my best. I only have one healer with me, Menlo. And he only has seven skills, so that's... A little bit of a handicap. I probably should have brought in Lena instead of Menlo. And then I should have brought in Dunkoro, who is a healer, instead of Taukoro. But I think we'll be okay. Oh, so it, it pinged me to take this crystal to him. But it didn't actually give me the clear objective yet. I'm just going to drop this here for now. So far, Kos, Elias, Takora, and Alkar are not under attack. But I don't want to risk it. I don't want to risk bringing them with me. Look at that. I did so much burst damage a uh, uh, AoE that they had to run away. Actually, it might have been that might have been a combination of me and uh, Sin. I love. Oops. I love to see that. Whenever you can get the AI to just retreat like that, it means you did a significant amount of damaging attacks in a short amount of time. Okay. We're going to, we're going through this. We're getting we're getting stuff done. So that's going to be my goal. I'm going to get all the crystals on him first. And then I'm going to give him the book last. That should be the way to do it. Maybe that's maybe that's what the commenter meant. Maybe I, maybe I just misunderstood. That's entirely possible. Oh, these interrupts are rough. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Let's retreat. All right. We lost, we lost Eve. She's a... Um, she's a blood ritual necromancer. So I'm not... Too surprised actually. Alright, Elias is also under attack. That means they are currently defending. Oh no, no, he's just keeping his. Oh yeah, they are fighting. 
We'll just go back and help. Oh, no, no, no. You guys stay there. I didn't know if I pushed that button that... Interesting. Yeah, I was, I was micromanaging the grip in there. Alright, so what I'm gonna have to do now is I think I'm gonna need to fight these guys. And I'm gonna need to bring the whole party with me. And risk it. Because we just took these guys out. But you know what? Since I started that fight with the blast rock, I think that's what triggered the enemies to attack here. So maybe I should just leave Elias and Takora. No, I need Takora with me. Maybe I should just... Ah, what should I do? Let's just all go. Uh, I don't know. I'll just leave Elias. He should be able to he should be able to tank them with his minions. <laughs> I don't know, this is rough. This is really tough, man. If this doesn't work, I I really might have to do a whole team of heroes. I was a little overconfident though. Wow, he how did he resurrect so fast? crazy all right so i'm about to start fighting the black rock and then oh run 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 oh no i accidentally tagged them off right, we gotta hurry i accidentally tagged elias off let's see if alcar gets under attack if he starts taking damage i'm gonna have to run really quickly yeah, Elias is coming now. I could send Elias back this way. Yeah, I can do that. All right, Elias. False alarm. Thanks to Guild Ward Mod, he taught me that you can ping heroes that way. Blast rock here. All right, let's try this. It's those interrupters that really screw up my team. Nice. Oh, he resurrected him. Who, who is the shaman? Shaman. Shaman resurrected him. All right, we're good. Elias, is he under attack right now? He's taking damage. I think we're okay. Nice. Okay, I'm coming, Elias. I think he's just... I think Elias is just soloing people. Yeah, he's healing up now. I think he just soloed. I think he and Alcar can just hold it down. Here's some... We're about to interrupt. Oh, no. He's under attack. I'm coming, buddy. Look at him, though. He's staying alive because he's using Dark Bond, it looks like. Okay, he, he dropped, but he held, it, he held his own. Good job, Elias. I'm proud of you. Very exciting. And this build is just... I just do so much damage. I can overwhelm their healing pretty easily. Okay, 
Okay, so the next ones spawn up here, I think. I'm pretty sure I need four. Let's leave Koss and Elias here this time. I don't want Elias to die again. He's He's got some death penalty. Oh, Korra and Menlo. I need them both with me. Here's a blast rock. So this is the third crystal. And... I feel like I need either... I, I obviously need three, but I feel like I need four. Ooh, nice spirit. Let's go in. They're grouped up. You need to take out the spirit keeper. Yeah, I got him dazed. Fever Dreams is tricky because I, I'm obviously starting battles with it, but... Whenever you know that they have uh, two conditions on, it's worth it to cast it again, especially on a monk, because it inflicts the dazed condition at that moment. At least that's that's how I uh, that's how I understand it. Okay, Koss and Elias are fighting right now. Let's. I think they're gonna be okay. No, Koss is not okay. Let's send them all there. I can solo this guy. Cross is gonna fall, maybe. Maybe I can't pull this guy. I don't have any healing. What am I thinking? I have no healing. <laughs> Alright. Cross fell. I can't believe it. Elias almost soloed them. But Cross died. He should get resurrected here now. There he goes. Elias resurrected him. Elias and, and Koss both have their signets down. Okay. Try this again. Koss, Elias, you stay there. Actually, Takor can even stay there too because it's only one guy left up here. Very exciting. So, Eve, ha Eve, Elias, and Koss have death penalty. Everyone else has plus 8% morale. Because these, I guess these black rocks give morale boost. I don't, I don't remember getting 8% morale boost though. That's kind of crazy. We're going down now, buddy. Buddy, old pal. <laughs> He's got that cry of frustration. It's so annoying. What I was thinking, I was like, yeah, I can solo him. He's a level 24 Mesmer. That has interrupts. <laughs> I've got zero healing. That was a tall order. Okay. I'm going to bring this back to him. And then I'm going to go ahead and put the other crystals next to him too. And then I'll put the book last. Although I'm pretty positive there's one more crystal. Where would it... I guess it would be up this way. Let's let's actually... Let's explore there a little bit. Oh, just in time. Look at that. Don't worry, guys. Reinforcements are here. Yeah, I don't see a blast rock up there. Oh, you guys are fine. You guys are so, so good. You guys are more than fine. You guys are just totally destroying them. Okay. Uh, you guys can stay here. And then I'll just keep bringing the henchmen. Let's bring the crystals first. Yeah, if I were a blast rock, I would have been up there, but I didn't see it. I guess it's only three crystals. Deep Knight, Enslaved, Eight, Etin. Hmm. 
three crystals makes sense because this would this is a pretty tough pretty tough uh quest four crystals sounds a little tough that's pushing it drop it drop it <laughs> and talking to a talking to my dog real quick drop it what do you got there no does everyone use that same language when you're talking to your dog i don't know what i'm talking about okay one more crystal and then we'll get the rubicon last it's pretty cool that they mention the the eye of the north great destroyer in here because this was pretty early on i'm pretty sure soros furnace yeah soros furnace came out way before even nightfall so so like the fact that they're mentioning great destroyer it means they were working on the lore for eye of the north fairly early right is that what that means yeah inside this rubicon is the true name of the great destroyer and so we were trying to keep it out of their hands before they could release it obviously we fail eventually right because I mean, Eye of the North happens. So if I drop this, we should complete it. Let's see. Da -da. Oh, there is one more. Darn it. All the way over there. Oh my gosh. All right, let's try it without my heroes. Let's give them another shot. Or give me another shot. Last time, I couldn't do it without Takora. Menlo by himself is a little bit tough. Managing it. Man, I really thought it was only three crystals. Let's go ahead and take out these guys because I'm not sure what they're planning. They could come up behind us or something. Oh, he like fainted. He was about to use his attack and then he like canceled it. That was weird. I didn't hear an interrupt sign or sound. Alright, Koss, Elias, Dakor, you guys are still okay. It should be fine. I mean, it's four of them, plus they got two They got two healers. And Elias already proved himself as pretty tanky. Okay, be careful. Be careful. That one's going to be really bad. forgot uh to cancel the order of the hero instead of canceling all you could just i could have just double clicked the flag and it cancels the order that i gave so, like i can flag these guys here they should stay there because of their flags i'm gonna draw aggro a little bit here we go oh they all coming at me anyway oh my gosh okay get back we can't win that just run Run, I say, run. Doing a little bit of, little bit of kiting here. All right, I might die. <laughs> no, I might die. All right. Wow, that poison was rough. Let's go ahead and save Koss and them. You're doing fine though, actually. Yeah, you guys are fine. Of course, they have a monk too. I don't know if they do enough damage. All right, let's go help them. Hmm. And what I don't want to happen happen is them just be caught in a battle forever and then more enemies come on top of it i just nuked him for you it's okay i got you guys if i double click that oh it says double click the cancel okay yeah so yeah i can do that and then i just double click and it cancels it and then it keeps those flags where they originally were a little bit of a pro tip if i might say <laughs> Okay. 
Man, how are we gonna do this though? This is just a massive group. None of us died in that last um, battle. Oh, come on. Menlo, do you not have any condition removal? There's so many traps here. Jeez. Yeah, this group is just a little too large, isn't it? Let me try and pull them again. Let's try and take a couple out. Oh, distracting shot is rough, man. Nice, I nuked a couple of them down. That was good. Alright, I think we got this. Just heal me, buddy. Keep me alive. Now keep cultists alive. Keep Eve alive. Okay, we got it. That's just scouts. They do a lot of poison, but they don't do a lot of damage on top of that. So Menlo should be able to out heal the poison. Oh, we're good. I just needed to stand my ground a little bit there. I got a little bit scared. All right, looks like Elias is under attack again. He's casting. He's casting Dark Bond and Blood of the Master. You okay? He's just keeping his minions alive, I guess. Oh yikes! They just dropped like a ton of spike traps on us. They just like Zaishin challenged us. Did anyone do that PvP where you farm Balthazar faction with uh, four trappers with spike traps? Very effective. Oh, this is annoying. All right, we have one more group here. Two more groups. Huge group. All right, there's a patrol. I think I can avoid that group if I just fight this group, actually. Because those are Stone Summit. These are Dredge. Yeah, I think we got this. I, I shouldn't be focusing the Spirit card. I should be focusing the Shaman. Look at that damage. Yes. Let's put clumsiness on him. Oh, he still resurrected it. How did he get resurrected? I'm not sure how we're losing this. I guess we're not. That was weird. Cause I I could have sworn I took the shaman first, but he still got resurrected by someone. All right, we did it. This is the last one. We're going down, fella. I think he's got that. Um, natural resistance because the, the hexes are just falling out really fast okay let's go they're not fighting anyone oh he's able to keep his two he's two minions alive pretty well but really it's elias two minions so that's three four five six seven they got seven bodies there Oof, that was tough. Now they're fighting. Perfect. Yeah, they should be fine. Elias is tanky because he's got... Oh, he lost his minions now. Oh, it's a big group. Six enemies came up. That 
at you guys. Let's drop this. If we drop it, I think we complete the quest. You have four, zero shards remaining. Be sure to pre protect the high priest from enemy patrols. All right, it looks like we finished it. Oh. Okay, he's doing some prayer. Release from the deep the power of these crystals. Heck yes, we did it. Bring down the walls that we may protect the world from the evil of the great destroyer. Ooh, a cutscene. Cool. So that's completed. So is it? Yeah, it, it. That's pretty sweet that they did that. It. It changed the whole map there. Hey, I'm talking to you, buddy. Eight thousand experience, no gold, nothing like that. But we do get a lot of experience. That will almost put us at a skill point. All right, everyone, we did it. With that, we have completed, um, I think this is the two, do I have a list here? Um, Northern Shiver Peaks, no, Southern Shiver Peaks. We fi finished two of the four, so next time I come back here, probably won't be next video, but eventually I'll come back here and I will do either Kilroy or Orazar Highstone. I vaguely remember Kilroy Stonekin, and I don't remember doing Orazar Highstone's quest ever. I need to, I need to kind of refresh what that is. All right. Anyway, I'm gonna leave it here. It took about 42 minutes to do this. Hopefully, you got something out of it. You got some, uh, some, um, I don't know. <laughs> so, I hope you got something from this video. But uh, appreciate everyone who commented on the last time I attempted this. Um, I feel like I did follow most of your advices, uh, that you recommended. So, um, yeah, it definitely came in handy because I completed it. So thanks again. I appreciate every comment or advice or, uh, criticism that you guys can give me. And I'm always trying to improve and get better at this game. So, uh, stay tuned for the next mission. If you are following along just on the prophecies playlist, I will be back in the Saurus Furnace. If not, you will probably the next video you see me post is probably going to be in Nightfall, actually. So I'll see you guys next time. Peace.